Welcome to the eMotion LV1 video tutorials. The user interface settings page is used to set meter display behavior, channel selection, and create assignable shortcut keys. Meter preferences are divided into several sections. Input meter selects the metering point at which input level is measured for channels. Options are pre or post trim. Output meter selects the output metering points for channels, groups, auxes, and masters. Clip threshold determines the level at which a peak light turns red, which indicates clipping. Set the clip threshold below 0 dB full scale to provide a warning before clipping actually occurs. This setting does not affect the behavior of the peak value indicator, just the warning light. Clip hold and peak hold times are set here. Hold times range from 0 seconds to infinity. The mixer window section is used to set whether the channel strip meters are displaying channel input or output. Usually, you'll want to select a channel when you touch its fader. When channel select follow fader is selected, that's exactly what happens. When channel select follow fader is not checked, touching and moving a fader will not select its channel. This lets you adjust the fader of a channel in the mixer window while adjusting the parameters of another channel in the channel window, or move a fader of a channel that's not selected. To select the channel, touch anywhere around the fader or at the top of the channel strip. Or use the channel navigation menu on the top bar. Use the delay units section to choose the way that delay values are entered and displayed. You can choose either milliseconds, feet, meters, or samples. This choice is provided for convenience only and does not affect delay processing. Use the speed of sound value box to enter a measured or calculated current speed of sound. This affects the relationship between distance measurements and time value. Many mixer functions can be assigned to user assignable keys. Assignments are made from the drop-down menu on the right side of the window. Choose one of the eight buttons, and then select its assignment. User-assignable keys are triggered with the buttons on the left side of the mixer window. An abbreviation of the assignment name appears on the button. User-assignable keys can also be assigned to dedicated buttons on external control surfaces. For a complete list of actions that can be assigned to user-assignable keys, refer to the eMotion LV1 user guide. Or better yet, just open the menus and discover what's there. The mixer is now configured. What's left is to patch audio in and out of the mixer and to route audio within the mixer itself. This takes place in the patch window, which is where we'll spend the next two lessons. Thanks for watching this eMotion LV1 video tutorial. See you next time.